Well, tonight marks five years since a deputy hit and killed a teenager from Tampa, sparking protest. Josiah Pinner was just 15 years old. In 2021, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office reached a $200,000 settlement with his family. And just hours ago, Josiah's family held a vigil for him. And 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio takes us there. Josiah's family says this was around where he was struck and killed five years ago today. There are candles and pictures to honor his life at this vigil. His mother says every day is still a struggle for not only her, but her three other girls who looked up to their brother. Mom, Mom. Five years later, I saw her every day behind Josiah. Joanne Rosas' heart is still broken. Yeah. Ugh. I'm sorry. She says her son Josiah was the family's protector. He was only 15, but he would do whatever he can to protect me and his sisters. He was he was a blessing. The light in their lives dimmer all these years, but not fully out because of the support of others. Josiah deserves to be here today. They grieved near where the deputy struck and killed Josiah while he and a friend tried to cross North Florida Avenue. The sheriff's office says Deputy Philip Montesi had the green light, but found he drove 21 miles an hour over the speed limit. Montesi struck and killed Josiah as he tried to avoid his friend. He's gone. He's never coming back. While deputies reached a settlement with Josiah's family, they say nothing can fix their broken hearts. It's a pain they may never learn to live with. While they wish Deputy Montesi had been fired immediately, Joanne's priority now is to make sure Josiah is not forgotten. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. An internal investigation found the deputy involved, Philip Montesi, violated standard operating procedure, but then State Attorney Andrew Warren found insufficient evidence to charge.